Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Catwoman figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. No, no. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't Quick look at the side art. Not much going on there. You got a picture of uh, Siamese Cat, 112 Collective at the, up at the top. Mesco Toys by Collectors for Collectors on both sides. And uh, that's pretty much it. On the back you've got some pictures of the figure. Let's get this girl open and see what's what. Alright, so I've got DC's Catwoman out of the package here. This is actually my very first female figure from the Mesco 112 Collective line. And I believe this is Mezco's third female figure that they've offered uh, from any property. So they had, uh, but they've all been from D.C., if I'm not mistaken. I think they had Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman and now Catwoman. I think that has been it as far as the female figures go. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Now, this is one I was looking forward to because I wanted to get more D.C. characters and I wanted a decent Batman. So I uh, pre-ordered the upcoming uh, Sovereign Knight Batman, which I, which I think would uh, pair well with this Catwoman. And I was uh, going out on a limb here, hoping that they have improved as far as the female figures go, uh, because I think that uh, the, the previous two offerings, as far as females go, have been a little lackluster. I'm a little disappointed by a few things on this figure. I do think she looks nice. I do like the mesh of the outfit. Uh, I like this particular head sculpt, although I do think the head may be just a little on the large side. Uh, there's always uh, quite a few people in the comments talking about the sizes of the heads on these Mezco figures. Uh, and I might agree on this particular one, uh, but I am a little disappointed. One thing that I do when I, when I buy figures, one of the first things that I do is see how they look in a vanilla pose. And if they can stand flat-footed on their own, with no issues and something is definitely wrong with the lower uh, feet on this figure and I had to do a lot of finagling to get her to stand on her own and that is a huge turn off to me right off the bat. Now I do have a couple of other little minor gripes here and there uh, but let's go ahead and get into her accessories. I always say let's get into the accessories and then go over the deco anyway so let's go over the deco. Uh, taking a close look at this head scope like I said I think she looks pretty. I think she looks good. I think the paint work on the face is really nice. Uh, the lipstick is popping. Uh, the eyes look good. I don't see any wonky eyes or anything. It does look like this is a mask. You can see some little creases here on the left and right side and you can see the stitch work on the side of the mask. It does look like a very well done mask and uh, you know her face is just out and I like the little cat ears. She's got the choker. I like the way her a uh, little pouch here, a little satchel looks, and if I'm not mistaken, this opens up. Yeah, and it uh, opens up to reveal some um, little gadgets, some things for picking locks and stuff like that, and that's cool. And it looks like this may be magnetized. No, I don't think it's a magnet, but it can open and close, and it does close flush, and that looks good. You can see the buckle here, and I think the stitch work on the outfit looks good. Only thing that looks a little like an eyesore is here underneath her arm, but not really. It's not a big deal. I do really like the texture here and this mesh, and it does give way for uh, a decent range of motion, although this buck is still not that articulated or as articulated as I would like. Uh, but I like the boots. And uh, real quick, even though it's not time for articulation, it is what it is. This was the issue that I had with the feet. They don't really move at all. I don't know what's going on here, uh, but the lower foot is not moving, although it is rotating at the upper boot and I can't hinge and I can't pivot. I can't do anything here with these feet. So that is one of my major gripes with this figure right off the bat, but I do like the way the boots look. I'll go deeper into articulation shortly, but out of the package, she comes with two fisted hands and you can actually see the claws on the hand. So you can see the claws uh, sticking out here, which I think was uh, great attention to detail. Forgot to mention a zipper here down the front so you can see how she would remove this. And that's realistic. That has some authenticity to it. But uh, again, I do like the deco. And there's a quick look at the pegs. They are very small, so you should definitely be careful with these as you're swapping out the interchangeable hands. But let's get into the first set. 
She's got a set of hands that are open with the fingers spread and you can clearly see the claws on these and these look great swapping them out was no issue you can actually see uh, in the palm of the hand here it looks like a sort of mesh maybe it's something that maybe it's supposed to represent her being able to stick to walls or something like that I don't know but I do like that it's a really nice touch there I think that looks cool and uh, these are very soft to the touch so you want to be careful that you don't bend them out of shape um, but yeah looks good and these are her last two hands so she has a right hand that is open semi cup the fingers are soft pliable uh, plastic so you can get something in her hand looks like she'll be able to hold another one of her accessories there and this one looks like it's a trigger finger extended but she doesn't come with any guns or anything like that so I assume you can use this to kind of signal her saying come here or putting her finger on Batman's chin or something like that or pressing a keypad or whatever you want there so that's fine and um, that's it as far as the hands go she's also packed in with a whip which is a signature Catwoman accessory um, it is not it cannot stay fixed in any one position though it would have been really nice if it had some bendy wire in here but she can hold it with no issue and it looks pretty good uh, but they could have really taken this over the top if they added some bendy wire into the whip and made it where uh, you know, you can articulate it. And then she's packed in with this little backpack, which looks like a little tactical backpack. It actually looks like it could even be a parachute packed in there real tight. But um, this is cool. And I think you can just slide this on and put this on without an issue. Give me a second, though. Yeah, so similar to the backpack that came with uh, Old Man Logan, there is no way to kind of detach the straps and uh, reattach them to the backpack you gotta actually just take your time and put it on one arm at a time uh, but that sits really nicely it's flush it looks good and you know it fits with the uh, color of the deco on the design here again it looks very sleek and tactical she's packed in with these little goggles which look like they will just slip right over the top of her head and let's see if we can just do that right now Actually, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Let's see if we could do it from the bottom. That might make more sense, yeah. There you go, there's that. So you can see that you can actually uh, still view her eyes through that sort of green tint on the goggles. And this is all working in tandem. This all looks very nice. But um, let's swap on her last accessories, which are additional head sculpts. She has two additional head sculpts. There's one where she's angry with her teeth gritted. And you can actually see some of her hair coming out uh, the top of the mask or coming out from the front of the mask. And I think this looks good. The eye paint here on the left eye seems like it might be just a little bit off it's not super noticeable but overall I do think the paintwork looks good the skin tone looks really nice and I do like this sort of angry version let's see how this looks with the goggles on and that works that looks cool uh, I do see one little minor paint imperfection here on her chin on this particular head sculpt might be able to just take that off but I can see one little speck of black paint there but uh, otherwise than that, no issues here. And then the final head sculpt is her fully unmasked, which I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's not terrible, but something seems off. And I don't know. The other faces, they look more appealing. She looks prettier, in my, in my opinion. Uh, this one, my, my daughter says she looks like an older, older woman. And yeah, minus the wrinkles, she does look a little older here I guess I do like the hair I like the way they have it layered and cut and you know she's got the short do and again the lipstick looks good but something about the fully unmasked face is a little off and the head's really big too it is it is kind of big um, seems like it might be a little larger than the the masked versions uh, but not terrible it is it can work I am interested in taking a bunch of pictures with this and doing quite a bit of uh, toy photography and ACBA so uh, all right moving right along and there's that you can just pull the pull the arms back and slide this off of course when I'm trying to do it on camera it doesn't work but there you go there's that all right moving into articulation most of the time this is where I have my major gripes as far as Mezco figures go 
Um, you know, I, I really wish they would update some of these bucks and go with some highly articulated bucks. But heads on a ball joint, it's going to look down that far. It's going to look up that far. Not too bad. Left to right, it'll get pivot. Uh, decent range of motion in the head. Nothing really hindering the movement there. Shoulders on a ball joint, they're going to come up pretty far, which is great. You can get it around. You could almost do a full 360. You could almost do a full 360 without really even stressing the uh, mesh here. It is. Uh, it does have a lot of give, and uh, you know there's there's some room in there for sure. Uh, no upper bicep swivel. Unfortunately, you do get a single jointed elbow, which is really less than 90 degrees. To be honest, it'll swivel on that joint there. This has got to stop happening. This is unacceptable. Uh, a non double jointed elbow on these figures. They cost too much. Come on. Go to distance. Uh, swivel and a hinge on the wrist. You get decent ab articulation, which was surprising. You can get her to go down and back pretty far, and she'll turn left to right there and a bit at the waist. So this was good. I do like that they have a good range in the, uh, in the upper torso, and the legs will come up pretty far, and you'll get a decent split. Uh, you got quite a bit of give there, but again, you don't want to pull that out too far because you will stress it. Upper thigh swivel, you do get... Uh, a little bit more than 90 degrees on the knee. I don't think the knee is even double jointed, which is also uh, disappointing. Looks like this one is bending in more than the other one. But yeah, not quite double jointed. Like I said, you get rotation here at the upper boot. Now, I was able to break in the feet just a little bit more, but it's still very, very limited. So I had a hard time standing her flat footed because I couldn't push the foot up any further here. So I don't know what's going on there. It is extremely limited and I don't want to. It's like it's fused, but I don't know. I don't want to force it and break off the foot because it seems like that's what's going to happen. But you can see it moving there. So I do assume that that is supposed to be the movement, but you're not getting that same range here. And I tried to pull up the boot here, but, you know, getting her flat footed is a problem and this could be unique to my figure uh, this may be an issue that is not going to be happening across the board but it's still really annoying this annoys me so much when I can't get a figure to stand up yeah this is unacceptable not having a good ankle pivot on this figure is unacceptable not being able to actually put her hands on her hips uh, and a really authentic natural looking pose is unacceptable this left foot is really pissing me off but moving into size comparisons and a couple quick size comparisons I've got the Mezco first uh, edition or first release of their Joker figure on the left and the first Mezco 112 foot, uh, figure that they put out which was the uh, uh, Dark Knight Batman on the right and uh, you can see how those stack up together and there she is next to Redpool, Deadpool and Punisher so I'm just doing these Marvel figures because maybe there is some Marvel female character that they could use with this buck, even though I don't want to see them use any any of these bucks that are not highly articulated. But anyway, I'm, I'm thinking like Black Widow or something like that and something sort of black and sleek and mesh like this. There she is next to the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader on the right and the SH Figure Watts uh, Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Yellow Ranger on the left. And there's the uh, Tomy Pokemon Squirtle? I don't know. What's the name of this guy, Kendall? On the left, and then on the right, the uh, NECA ape dude, who I can't remember his name either. What's that Pokemon's name? I don't even know. I don't even play Pokemon that much. Bye, bye, bye. And there's the Marvel Legends Mantis and Ego on the left, and uh, Mc, uh, not McFarlane, the Toy Biz Lord of the Rings uh, Ringwraith horse, horse on the right. Looks like another case of a great looking Mezco figure with issues with the mobility. Uh, for a character like Catwoman, this is definitely not enough articulation. At the very least, she should have had double jointed elbows and double jointed knees. You're not going to really get her crouching and, uh, you know, uh, in the best running and jumping poses. She's a very agile character. Forgot to mention that this look for her is pretty comic accurate, too. It does look very similar to a kind of modern. Uh, take on her costume and the comic books. Uh, Mesco is going to be releasing another version of this uh, character with the purple costume. I passed up on that one. I prefer the black. And as you can see, I opted for something kind of vanilla here because, again, you're not going to get the greatest poses out of this figure. So, really disappointing in that regard. 
And uh, shout out to my man Emmanuel, who I was speaking to right before I started to put the finishing touches on this review, who was warning me about the knees on this figure, that some people were breaking up the figure at the knees, thinking that the knees were double jointed, and there were some tears at the crotch area for people uh, pushing a split to the limit. So luckily I didn't do that. Uh, you know, again, I am happy with the way the figure looks, but overall it's not the greatest offering from Mesco. They don't really take it to the, or push it to the limit with their female characters, unfortunately. Uh, is it one that I would still recommend? Sure, for some great photography and some uh, great pictures alongside a uh, Batman figure, uh, you know, she's going to photograph nicely. So uh, I wouldn't overspend. I definitely wouldn't pay any uh, uh, crazy marked up prices on a secondary market. Uh, but if you can get her for a decent price, then go for it. Oh, and real quick, this is actually the interior of a new diorama that I got from my man Chris Lyons, which I'll have a little showcase video for, I guess, following this. I guess I'll be doing things right in order. So this is not even really meant to be shot from the inside, but I thought this would work out well for Catwoman kind of hiding from the police. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time... Peace.